Welcome back to the Bronx Journal. I'm Dolly Perez. So, can you sing? Have you considered a singing career? Our next guest is well on her way to establishing herself in the music industry. And perhaps from her, we can get some tips on how to get started. Fee is an upcoming artist, singer-songwriter from the Bronx. She has created music videos, performed all over New York metropolitan area, and today she brings her talent to the Bronx Journal. Fee, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, I want to ask you, how was your, um, when you first started singing, how did you know it was your passion? Well, I started singing since I was about seven years old. And I just remember just loving to sing. Like, it wasn't like a job for me. It was like, I just loved to do it. And ever since then, I've just been singing. Oh, that's amazing. So what was your first performance and how did you feel? The first time I performed was in high school. I went to LaGuardia High School. Nice. And um, I think I was a freshman. I was like so, so afraid, so nervous. Yeah. But um, I, I had a songwriting class as well. And um, there on stage, it just felt so liberating. I felt so free. I felt like I, felt like I could be whoever I right. wanted to be. I could be somebody else. That's amazing. And um, you say your name is Fee. Yeah. It's, is it short for something or what's, what, is, what is the significance of your name? My name is Sophia and um, it derives from, you know, Fee, Sophia. Mm -hmm. So that's how Fee came about. And um, everybody been calling me Fee, it's been sticking. People love it. You know, it's like a yeah. little nick nickname. Everybody calls it. Yeah. That's awesome. And question, when you, you said that you started in high school when you started singing. Yeah. Did you start writing as well? In high school, I know. I was writing since I was about seven as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, I always had a passion for writing as well. It just kind of, it was natural for me. It was no, nothing that I ever had to force. And, um, but I literally started doing music more, I would say, what's the word, seriously in high school. In high school. Yeah. When did you consider that actually to be your career? When I graduated high school. Okay. When I graduated high school, it was like, it was a different world. It was more, you were, you're, you're tossed into the, the real world. Right. And you have to determine what you want to do with your life mm -hmm. when you graduate high school. Some people want to be doctors, lawyers, and I wanted to be a singer. And mm -hmm. that's when I realized, like, yeah, if I really want to do this, I really have to, you know, just push and just do it. Right. And that's when I knew exactly. So how were you able to get your career started? How did you put your name out there so people can notice who you are as an artist? Well, as an artist, you just kind of have to kind of try to build a buzz. Right. When I graduated high school, I did college for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And after college, I started, um, like in midway through college, I decided I didn't want to go to school full time. Took a risk. Okay. And I decided to follow my dreams. I decided to just push and just do what I wanted to do, and it's music. And so I started doing shows like um, open mics to get my name out there, just kind of to give me exposure right. so people can just get to know who Fee is. Because, I mean, you know, unless you put yourself out there, no one's going to know who you are. Okay. So it was after that time, you know, I just by doing open mics and doing mm -hmm. different shows, different mm -hmm. talent contests, and that's how I'm trying to get exposure to expose who Fee is. Oh, okay, awesome. That does a wonder. I, I think that's a wonderful experience. Um, what is your What is the message that you're trying to portray as an artist? Like, what, how you want people to notice you as an artist? As an artist, I need to convey to people that it's okay to be who you are. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be, you know, to be sad. And I want through my music and through my words that I, you know, I sing to people, I want them to believe it. And even they might be going through something that, you know, one of my songs are conveying to them at the moment, you know? Um, I want people to just listen and, and, and say, you know what, I can relate to what she's saying because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I am just like you are. And that's what I want my fans to know. I am just like how you are, I'm a, you know, like I'm an everyday girl. When you come about writing, what is the process of you writing? Does it come right away to mind? Does it go through, because you go through a life experience, you start writing away? How do you start writing? Because you're a singer songwriter. How does that come about? Um, I think with being a singer songwriter, it's very challenging, but it's also very fun. Yeah. How I, so? 
I mean, with songwriting, right. there's really no precise process to songwriting. It's more of either you got it or you don't, you know? And um, since I was young, since I was seven and I was growing up, I always loved to like to express how I was feeling on the inside. I always loved to, to write down how I felt. And then it just kind of like turned into melodies and turned into songs. And it took for someone to be like, you know what, that's a great you know, song. You should think about you know, really writing and, and right. doing music for me to be like, oh, okay. You know, because as a child, you're growing up, you're like, oh, okay, right. little melodies. You're, you're used to these things, you, they're all around you. You know, because life is inspiration. And my life and mm -hmm. your life could be inspiration for anyone. Right. So, I mean, there's really no process. It's just more of you just express yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, what comes first, the lyrics or the music? Either or. Either or? Either or. Um, the lyrics can sometimes come while you're walking down the street. Right. They can come while you're in the shower. Yeah. They can come while you're cooking. Right. Craziest <laughs> things. And lyrics are basically a part of everyday life. You know, yeah. you, you know, us speaking right now, having a conversation could be turned into a, a song, you know? So like your next song is gonna be like, it I could spoke be about, to a host. Yes, I spoke to the <laughs> <laughs> It could be. Like, it's just like your, your life is, is, is a song. Right. You're, you're, living out, you're living out your dreams and you're living out your life through melodies right. and through your words and your actions. Right. Right. So right. there's really no process, man. I love it though. Since you're a singer-songwriter, how were you able to um, get your message across in the sense of if you're going through certain experiences, mm -hmm. you really want your audience to feel what you feel at that point. Yeah. How are you able to portray that through your lyrics? When I write songs, I don't, I'm kind of weird. I'm very yeah. weird. I don't like to like the norm. I don't like to say, in my songs, oh, I love you, yeah. by just saying I love you, mm -hmm. it's more of, I wanna find a, a, a different way to say, right. you know, I love you, right. metaphorically speaking. Right. And I mean, through my words and through my songs, I want people to be like, to have fun with my songs as well. Right. I want them to be like, oh, that was neat. Like, I didn't expect that. Right. You know, like, that was, that was very, kooky I would say in a sense right and you I'm sorry to interrupt you you you, uh, you sing R&B hip-hop and a little pop I'm more urban pop you're more urban pop. yes why why do you lean more to urban pop because I, I love pop music right I do because pop music is just popular music right music that everyone loves that everyone gra gravitates to mm -hmm. and urban I would I would call it urban pop because I live in an urban community, you know, and this is what I see around me every day, and mm -hmm. I'm writing from their experiences. I'm writing from my experiences. Mm -hmm. So I categorize it as urban pop because, you know, this is my life. Right. This, these songs are my life. Mm -hmm. You know, my music is my life. It might right. be, you know, I might be talking about someone else's situation, but this is still my life through my eyes. So that's why mm -hmm. it's called urban pop. So tell me a little bit about what you're gonna sing for us today. The song I'm gonna be singing today is called Love is a Gamble. Okay. Um, I think everyone can relate to this song. Right. It's about being in love. It's about taking a chance. And you know, yeah. with love, with you know, whomever, whomever you do love, it's always, you're always taking a risk. You're always taking a chance. And I wanted to express that in a song where people can be like, you know what? You know, what she's saying has a lot of truth to it, you know? Because right. everyone talks about love because love mm -hmm. is such a universal topic. But I wanted to just write a song and say, you know what, and express to the world that I, I'm taking a risk as well, you know? Like, right. love is a gamble. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking a risk, and you should take a risk. And those who have taken risk, you know, shouldn't be afraid to take right. it because okay. it's a gamble. Before we give you the spotlight, give us a title again. Love is a gamble. Love is a gamble. Now we are going to take a short break and when we come back, Fee is going to sing for us. We can all be more energy efficient. It's easy. 
Use energy saving light bulbs. <laughs> energy smart power strips. And turn off electronics and appliances when not in use. <laughs> Learn what you can do today at energy.gov slash tink. Was wonderful. It's actually my favorite new song. So how can people get a hold of you? Once again, my name is Fee. 
You can reach me at motivemusic22 at gmail.com. Email me if you have any questions. You want to know if I have any shows coming up, my new single coming up as well. And you could also reach me on Facebook, Fee Smith, and also Instagram at Fee22Smith. Check me out. <laughs> nice, nice. And we'll be right back with Bronx Journal. <laughs> 